Hey guys, how's everybody doing? Um, been here, haven't been here for a while, uh, cause mainly because I went to Ohio. I went back to my hometown of Yellow Springs, Ohio, and um, celebrated my mother's 90th birthday. And I stayed gone, stayed up there for 10 days. I just got back last night. Um, yeah. I didn't post a, I didn't post anything while I was up there. I took a break and just kind of uh, recharged the batteries, as they say. Went down to the springs, drank some water from the Yellow Springs, and had a great time. Actually, it's great being back, seeing family. It's been two years. My son Dane. Uh, lives in San Antonio. He came, uh, which is our normal every year pilgrimage back home. Of course, we couldn't do it last year. Air conditioner just came on. Forgot to turn it off. Hopefully, it won't pick it up. Anyway, um, we normally go every year, July, around the July, 4th of July weekend. But because of circumstances of last year and 2020 being what it was, we didn't make the trip. The last time we were home was 2019, July. No, the reason why I always go around the 4th of July weekend is because that's normally when they have all class reunions, high school all class reunion, which they didn't do last year. Um, this year, although some people from my class got together over the 4th of July weekend, they had pushed it back, the all-class reunion pushed it to September of this year. And I think it's still set for that. I'm debating whether to go for it or not. Because I, anyway, long story short, it worked out. My birthday is when it was on the 25th of July, and I was planning on going up there for that birthday and being there for my mother's birthday, which was the 2nd of August, staying a week. Anyway, logistics being what they are, it didn't work out that way. I had a gig on my, on my birthday, which I think I might actually have some footage from, uh, a short thing. Um, so I played the gig and then my son wasn't coming until the 10th, I mean the 30th that Friday. So I just pushed everything back and just went then. And we had a surprise birthday party for my mother on the first, which was that Sunday. And it was a surprise. And I've got a bunch of pictures, a bunch of pictures from that. And, uh, I'll post that stuff up on my social media, Instagram and uh, Facebook and I might do another video going more into detail and stuff, right? You know, I don't have any video, but I might post some pictures here too. You can see it was a blast with all that being said, I just got back last night, as I said, and today I'm downtown at my spot watering my plants. Forgot to tell somebody to water my plants while I was gone. And, um, yeah, I'm hoping to save them. I've got a man I've got two mango trees that I've been growing since last year and man, I don't want to lose them. It took me forever to get them to going anyway. Um, so yeah, while I was there, I, I took my bass with me. I knew PhD fretless and I played on my mother's front porch and did a couple things, but I didn't play any gigs or anything like that. I just had it with me to get used to it. And I will say being an online fretless bass, I play fretless, but being unlined, 
I thought I was, I thought I might've gotten in over my head, but I will, I gotta say, this thing is amazing. You know, I'm getting, getting used to the, sh the shortness of the scale because it's a 33 inch scale length. And if you don't know at one inch, normal bases are 34, that one inch, you think that's just an inch, right? Well, yes, it is, but it could be, uh, it can take some getting used to. This didn't, it feels so natural. I mean, it just feels like, I guess I should have been playing 33 inches all along. Uh, it just fits me so well. It fits me so well. I'm going to, I'm going to go out on a limb and say that it's, it's, uh, I'm not going, it's not going out on a limb. It's a fact. It's the best playing bass I own right now. It just, it's just is, it just is. One thing that just blows my mind about this. And I, I talked to Paraz. Paraz Hatcher is the luthier from PhD bases who made the bass for me. And one thing that I conveyed to her is that this thing sings like nothing else. I mean, when I say sings, I play this harmonic. <laughs> uh, it goes on forever. I only, I only played one other bass that, 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 had sustained like that. And that was a uh, Rickenbacker. It wasn't mine. And it was the only Rickenbacker I've ever played. And I was just, I was thrown, thrown for a loop on how long that thing sustained. But this is just, it. And the harmonics just jump out of this thing. Not just the harmonics, you know, but I mean, look at that low E. It's still there. I was, I was, I've made several videos. Um, I made several videos. I have not posted any, but I've recorded several videos, um, of me playing this thing, you know, and, um, then my vacation was coming up and I just got, I didn't get a chance to really post anything. So I said, well, you know what? I'm going to just bless. I'm going to just press, um, play we start talking to a little bit about it and you know, here it is. It is. I played my first gig with it, um, on my birthday and I didn't set up a camera, but there was somebody that filmed it and I don't know if I can, let me see if I can pull this up. Let me see if I can find it. Uh, I think it is right. Uh, here. Let's see. Let's see if I can make this play. No, no, that might not be it. Uh, right, no. Let me try here. Five. I think it's there. It is. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, bear with me. I think I have it. <laughs> I hope I do. Yeah, let's see if I can make this play. That is it. This is 
This is Fat Mel. This is Fat Mouth from my the 25th July 25th birthday. Well, it was, my, it was my birthday. We were playing at Crafties over in Garner, North Carolina. It's just a little bit of us playing a little chameleon. was hot as all get out. I normally wear a hat and uh, I just couldn't do it. I said, this is the this is the first gig that I played with this bass. <laughs> yeah, man. <laughs> It was the first gig I played with this bass, and uh, um, <laughs> it was a. Uh, as I said, it was hot. God, it was so hot. <laughs> and and okay, so it went from. You think okay, that was the twenty fifth. I got it on the nineteenth. It came in on the nineteenth, so a week later, or just about that Monday. Came from Albuquerque, New Mexico, to my house. Sit in my house, and then down here in the air conditioning. Then it went to this hot gig, man. I mean, it was smoking out there, and 
Okay, I tuned it up when I got it on the 19th. And I'm not lying when I say I had it for a week, played that hot gig. Then the next week, you know, played, did some rehearsals with it. And then I put it in the car last Friday. Well, not last Friday, Friday before last. And went to Ohio. Played it all the time I was there. Came back down to North Carolina. Hot in the son of a gun in the car. Anyway, the point I'm making is I've only tuned this bass one time when I got it. It has not needed to be tuned since. After playing, there's new strings too. These strings are new on this bass. And I tuned it up on the 19th of July when I got it, and I haven't tuned it since. I came downtown tonight, I mean this afternoon, or this morning, I mean, and plugged it in. Still, still in tune. I know by the same tuner that I'm using right here, my SWR, R, SWRUN tune, tuner, still rock solid. What does that say? Incredible. I told Perez, I told Perez about that, you know, I said, she's asking me how the bass was going. I'm like, I can't get over this. And she's, I'm glad it's, I'm glad it's behaving. Yeah, I'm glad you are a super talented luthier. Um, you're an artisan. It's not just a pretty face. It's a, it's a gorgeous piece of wood. Yes, it is. But it is a well-made, well-made um, tool. So anyway, there you go. Just a quick video talking about my bass. I'm gonna I'm gonna be making some more. You guys are gonna get tired of me talking about this thing. I hope you don't, because it is it's amazing. Check this out.
say like I said I'm getting used to it but um, it's amazing anyway okay I'm going to cut it off right here and I'm going to say goodbye for right now just want to make a video talk about what I did where I've been what's going on Mainly, I want to talk about this amazing instrument, PhD fretless bass. You guys have a wonderful time, wonderful day. Take care of each other. Love one another. And I'll catch you later. Peace. Thank you.